Well, for any who would have taken advantage of that, you would be up $940 now for a 35.47% gain. Hey guys, this is this week's winning stocks for January 29th through February 2nd of 2024. And as we know, I like to start this off with us looking at the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ, so we can see how the market's been moving overall. And we see with the S&P 500, it moved up for nine weeks straight moved down a week and now it's moving up for its or it's moved up for its fourth week the dow the dow has been positive for nine weeks i can't say it moved up every week there was one week which was almost a doji but it was positive for nine weeks negative for one and now it's moving up for its fourth straight week and the NASDAQ has been positive for one, two, I believe that's nine weeks as well. And it moved down for a week, and now it's positive for its fourth straight week. So we're still moving up. I'm not sure when it's going to take that breather, it's going to take that drop, but we're still moving up so far. But let's jump into our watch list and take a look at it. And just a reminder that on this watch list, we break these stocks down into three tiers. The three star is the most fundamentally sound. Two star is beneath that, not as fundamentally sound, but still fundamentally sound. And one star is the least, most fundamentally sound on the list but still considered fundamentally sound. Clearfield is a two-star, currently at $29.44 a share. They had a decent little move up this last week, but they've still been moving sideways. And Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $34.50 a share in the next 12 months. So not much of a jump, but still, it's not an expensive stock. Patreon Corporation. They are a three-star, currently at $338 a share. Yahoo analysts don't give an estimate for this stock but my estimate based on P.E. ratio is that they can move up to $392.55 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they were positive for one, two, three, four, five, I'd say about five weeks. That six week is a positive candle is green, but it actually ended up lower than it was the big week before. And then for the next three weeks, it went down. Today, we had a positive candle. Let's continue to look at it and see what it does. Hershey Company. Hershey Company is one of the stocks that I mentioned in this week's option picks. And I'm gonna ex explain more about that to you. In any event, Hershey Company is a three star. They're currently at $197.66 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $208.65 a share in the next 12 months. Now, I suggested Hershey Company in this week's option picks. And for those of you who watch this week's option picks, you know that I don't just suggest the options. I actually buy them so we can see what happens with them. 
So on January 8th, I bought a option on Hershey expiring on May 17th with a $190 strike price. And it costs $1,236.66. Well, I didn't like the way Hershey was moving. So three days later on January 11th, I sold it for $1,049.33. That was a $187.33 loss and a 15.14% loss. Now, what would have happened if instead of selling Hershey, I would have held on to it? Because remember, the expiration isn't until May 17th, and now it's just February 2nd. So what would have happened if I'd have held on to it? Well, if I would have held on to it, I would be sitting on top of a $323.34 gain so far. That's a 26.14% gain in under a month. So the next company we're looking at is Genuine Parts Company. They are a two-star, currently at $142.38. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $154.09 in the next 12 months. Now, they're moving sort of sideways. They're, they are moving up a little, but mostly it's a sideways path. Biogen. Biogen is a three-star. They're currently at $243 and 64 cents a share. I'm sorry. They're currently at $243 and 72 cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $317 and 6 cents a share in the next 12 months. Chevron Chevron is a one star. You guys may be familiar with Chevron gas. In any event, they're one star. Currently at $152.24 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $163.06 a share in the next 12 months. Notice they're a little up and down, but sort of just sideways. Archer Daniels Midland, I would do my research on this company. Seems to be some management problems, and that's the reason why they dropped considerably the last, the previous week. But notice they started to make a little move up this week. The question is, will they continue to move up or stay down? In any event, they're a one star, currently at $55.69 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $65.92 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they're about to give a dividend believe it's 50 cents. And in order to get that dividend, you will have to own them before February 7th of 2024. Yum China Holdings. We're currently holding them in our um, this week's option picks. They are a one-star. 
They're currently $35.24 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $59.23 in the next 12 months. Now, Yum China Holdings, for those who aren't aware, there is a company in the U.S. called Yum Brands. And Yum Brands is actually KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. Well, Yum Brands isn't just in America. They're all over the world. As a matter of fact, I've never liked Kentucky Fried Chicken in America. But every time I taste them outside of America, I've tasted them in Africa. I believe Philippines. I've moved around a few places and had Kentucky Fried Chicken. They're spectacular. I love them. In any event, Yum Brands went to China, and they were so popular in China that they formed a subsidiary down there. Yum China Holdings is actually a subsidiary of Yum Brands. It's Taco Bell, KFC, and... Pizza Hut, as well as other restaurants in China under different management. In any event, they have an earnings report coming out on February 6th. And for those who are earning a, owning a stock, an earnings report is like a report card for children. It can go terribly wrong, and if it's a bad earnings report, that stock can drop considerably. And it can go incredibly right, and if it's a good earnings report, that stock can just shoot up overnight. Well, I suggested Yum China Holdings in this week's option picks. I bought it. It's fluctuating around. Currently, I'm sitting on top of a $143.32 loss, which which is 15.03%. However, that's not a realized loss. It's an unrealized loss. A realized loss is when you've actually sold the stock or the option and you've actually lost the money. Unrealized losses when the value of what you're holding is down, but you haven't lost it yet. Remember, I had an unrealized loss with Hershey. Then I sold it, and it became a realized loss. If I would have held on to it, it would have been an unrealized loss. And then when it moved up, I'd have had a realized gain of what was it, 20-something percent. I'd be up now. So this one, I'm going to be more patient. I'm not going to let it go. We'll see what happens with the earnings report. We'll see if it's good. But if any are holding it and they want to let it go by Monday, Monday is going to be the 5th. That's your decision. But I'm going to hold on a little longer and see what happens. Next, we have Humana. Now, Humana is another company that I mentioned in this week's option picks. It's a two-star. It's at, well, yeah, currently it's at $378.87. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $421.76 in the next 12 months. Now, there was, there's been some trouble hitting the healthcare market. That's why Humana fell. But when this one dropped, 
I put this in this week's object pick. Actually, one long-term option for Humana with the strike price at that time, it was around $360, would have been $2,650. I didn't have that available in my brokerage account because they're invested in other stocks so that I could take advantage of it. But I wanted to put this out there so that if any of you guys had the money, you could take advantage of it. So I immediately dropped uh, this week's option picks to let y'all know about it. $26.50 for an option expiring on May 17th. It's around four months. And at $360. Well, for any who would have taken advantage of that, you would be up $940 now for a 35.47% gain. And we'll see what continues to happen with Humana. But that's the state of Humana. We saw a previous stock, Chevron, steals in gas that was down at the 52-week low. Exxon Mobil is another. They're a one star. Currently $101.97 a share. They came down to the low, moved up for a week, but moved slightly back down this week. Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $115.81 a share. Then we have John Bean Technologies. They are a two-star. Moved up for three weeks and then sideways this week. They're at $99.49 a share. Well, I'm sorry. They're at $99.94 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $110.33 in the next 12 months. We have Malibu Boats. Malibu Boats. Wow, they really dropped this week. See this long candle? But towards the end of the book of the week, they started to move back up. They ate up half of that ground. So let's take a look and see what they do going into this next week. In any event, they were three star at $46.31 a share. But Yahoo analysts don't give them much room for moving up. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $48.57 a share in the next 12 months. That's not far from where they are right now. Now, I, I need you guys' help with something. I recently met with, uh, I guess you would say, an expert on YouTube to see about getting more views. And they explained to me that in order to get more views, I have to narrow down on the type of videos that I'm making. Not talking about as much subjects in the area of finance. But I don't want to do that because I want to give you guys as much enlightenment and share as much with you as possible. I don't want to just deal with stocks or just deal with options, or just deal with analysis. So, if the YouTube algorithm is not going to help me out by dispersing my information, I would appreciate if you guys could help me out by dispersing it. Put some of these videos on your channels or platforms if you have social media 
share it with some others who you feel may need it. I have videos like check this before buying any dividend stock, which lets you know what thing you should look at if you're into dividend stocks. And do this before buying any stock, which lets you know what you could do to make sure the stock you're buying is fundamentally sound and not losing money. So that's it, guys, for um, the stocks moving up in this week, this week's winning stocks. Look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great weekend.